Hey guys, some words are really hard to say. Words like discombobulated. But I want to tell you a story today about a word that can be even harder to say than that. In fact, it's probably one of the hardest words you could ever say. The word is sorry, a tiny word that's hard to say, but thankfully there is a way, as my little mate Eric discovers in this story. Would you like to hear it? Cool. Right then. Get yourself comfy and let's get cracking. The sun shone bright on a hot summer's day as Eric went out in the garden to play. He placed the ball on the penalty spot, then whack! He unleashed a mighty shot. Up, up, up sailed the ball above the bar, high into the sky over Percy Price's yard. Thump, thumpity thump, Eric's heart beat fast. Down came the ball with a thunderous crash. Oh, my days, Eric cried in distress as he peeked through the hedge to assess the mess. A scene of destruction greeted his eyes. Percy's pansies are pulverised! Filled with dread, Eric fled to the shed. Scanning the shelves, he scratched his head. Aha! he exclaimed. I know what to do! And he soon returned with a tube of glue. He crawled through a hole that he found in the hedge, rolled up his sleeves and took a deep breath. Then, soil to pot and petals to stem, he put the pansies together again. Buzzing, said Eric, feeling quite clever. That was until a turn in the weather. A gust of wind toppled the pot, which shattered again. Eric's jaw dropped. Suddenly, a small face snooped through the hedge. It was Eric's little sister, who didn't look impressed. Oi, Eric, what did you do? And why are you smothered in petals and glue? I didn't do anything. Eric replied, but little sis knew that her big bro had lied. Eric was guilty, and boy did he know it. But if he was sorry, his face didn't show it. I'm telling mum, she threatened her brother. Tell me what, came the voice of their mother. And there through the hole, mum loomed into view. Oh no, groaned Eric. Now what do I do? It was Lily, said Eric, shifting the blame, his cheeky cheeks now blushing with shame. I'm sure she's sorry, no harm done. But Eric could see that he didn't fool Mum. Eric was busted, and boy did he know it. But if he was sorry, he still didn't show it. Don't tell Dad, Eric cried in despair. Don't tell me what, boomed a voice on the air. And there through the hedge, a third face peered, and with it, all hope of escape disappeared. D -d -d Dad, stuttered Eric, w -w what a surprise! but the panic in his eyes could not be disguised. Hey, Eric, called Dad. What's occurring? Eric's a vandal, said Lily, stirring. Well, it could have been worse, Eric insisted. I didn't smash a window like Lily once did. Eric was squirming and twisting and turning, but his distraction tactic was crashing and burning. Eric was guilty, and boy did he know it. But now he was sorry, and his sad eyes showed it. Eric, my boy, we can fix this mess. But is there something you need to confess? Yes, blurted Eric. It's all my fault. I unleashed a shot like a thunderbolt. I've clearly got super soccer powers because the ball flew for miles and wrecked these flowers. So I ran to the shed and raided your shelf and I nicked the glue to fix it myself. Lily came over, so I told her a lie, but then I blamed her when mum swung by. And now you're here and I feel so bad. I'm really, really sorry, dad. His father smiled and reached out his hand. You're forgiven, now hurry, because Dad's got a plan. Quick as a flash, Eric dashed back through and was met with hugs, despite all the glue. They cleaned him up and then popped to the shop to purchase a pot for Percy's plot. Eric held up a coin. It's all I've got. Don't worry, said Dad. I've paid for the lot. Thanks, said Eric, but I don't deserve it. You're right, said Dad, but no one's perfect. Learn this lesson and never forget it. This is called grace and grace is epic. What's grace? asked Eric. Well, said his dad, it's undeserved kindness when we've been bad. We all mess up, but God loves us still. Grace puts things right and it pays the bill. Amazing, said Eric, but how does he pay? Son, whispered dad, there was only one way. Jesus paid for our sins with his blood on the cross. Wow, exclaimed Eric. Grace costs a lot. Dad, declared Eric, grace is cool. I just hope that Percy thinks so too. Eric trudged up the path to Percy's door. He knocked, 
then waited, then knocked once more. The door creaked open, and there was Percy. Eric held up the pot and pleaded for mercy. I, I, I smashed your pot and destroyed your pansies. I'm so sorry, Percy. Please forgive me. Percy gently took the pot. Thank you, Eric. This means a lot. You've learned your lesson, I can tell. All is forgiven. I wish you well. The grateful lad walked home with his dad, amazed that grace had made him unsad. Eric was loved, and boy did he know it. His sorry was gone, and his big smile showed it. So there we go. What a day for little Eric. Don't know about you, but I've had days like that. Days when I really messed up, but rather than saying sorry, I've done everything I can to fix it myself or blame other people or try to make out that I'm not that bad. Which is why I'm so glad I learned the same lesson that Eric learned in this story. That God loves to give grace to us even though we don't deserve it. That Jesus died to offer us forgiveness as a free gift and all we need to do is accept it by faith. I really hope that you discover the wonder of grace too and that sorry becomes an easier word for you to say. Thanks for listening. Hope you enjoyed the story. God bless.